gonna go in and do our smoky eye. We're gonna start out with a pencil that is very smudgy. It's the smudgeable pencil. If you wanna know what brand, just hit me up in the comments. Y'all know I don't advertise brands right off the bat. But um, I will let you know what brand I'm using. Um, it will be stated in the comments, okay? So welcome everybody to this culturally fun Friday. Culturally fun Friday, okay? We got our cultural music going on. Ooey, ooey, ooey music as I like to call it. And then um, we're going to get some dance hall going on. So yeah, y'all just vibe with me, okay? Hit that share button so everybody can know what's going on. So foundation is laid, all right? We're going in with this pencil. We're going to start framing the eye for the smoke, okay? We always wanna make sure we get a good frame on the eye before we start doing the smoke. Welcome everybody, come on in the room. Welcome my new timers. Welcome everybody, all right? So we're gonna go in with our pencil, all right? So there is nothing on my eye right now. Foundation is all around. Hey, live, love, laugh. That's my girl. Welcome. We got our um, smudgeable pencil. So we're going to start framing it out. And then, of course, after we frame, we apply, we're going to start the blending process. Okay? So we're going to go in. Um, like I said, nothing is on my actual lid. I want a nice, plain canvas so that everything can adhere to the skin um, and the eye the way it needs to. Okay? So, we're going to start at the inner corner, and we're going to kind of bring it in um, an upward motion, all right, y'all keep on coming into the room, all right, hit that share button, so everybody can see what's going on up in the room on this Friday, okay, all right. So what we're doing is framing out this smoke with a smudgeable pencil, okay? Can you all see good enough? Okay. And now, um, I'm gonna keep it. This pencil is really smudgy, okay. Let me just uh, clean off this excess going on on my pencil okay all right and we're gonna go to this corner and just connect so we have our nice uh like a nice little heel going on okay i'm gonna start off with a nice heel hey what y'all know about that lauren hill and bob marley uh -huh. okay so as you all can see we started at the corner and we proceeded to go up and down so we have a nice heel going on hey lauren hill we're doing heels <laughs> i know that's kind of cheesy but y'all know <laughs> okay so here we go other side same deal okay we're going starting in the inner corner it's my jam y'all all right, and we're gonna make that heel. All right. The heel right to the other end of the eye. Okay, so we're going from corner to corner and we're doing the heel. You love it already, Tasia? Well, I'm glad. It's very easy, Sean. It's not gonna be hard. It's gonna be very easy, I promise. I promise we do nice, easy stuff. Something easy you can do on yourself and makeup artists you can do on others. Giving y'all a nice, easy, quick tip. Alright. So use your pencil. Okay. Down low. See, Warren. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, peak to peak. Uh oh, I gotta get my. So I won't mess up my foundation. Alright. And we wanna make sure. Go up a little bit higher because we want to give a nice the higher you go the dr more dramatic your smoke is gonna be okay so hit those peaks 
stretch your eyes so you can see if you're even higher you go the more dramatic okay so that's a good base for right now okay so now all we'll do is start going in the bottom this is a water resistant pencil and it's smudgeable hey Davika, did I say it right y'all know I don't want to mess up nobody's name all right so if I hesitate in saying your name just correct me feel free to correct me I'm I'm not sensitive like that Davika, I hope I'm saying it right and my little music I'm jamming y'all don't know me up in here okay so now everything is nice and covered we are going in we just hitting the water line all right hey Dominican Republic is in the house hey Chanel is in the house Kenji is in the house did I say your name right I hope I did okay yes come on in the room everybody tell me where you from let's talk about some stuff preferably 90s stuff you know hey we can do it share 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 let your friends know I'm on today instead of on Thursdays all right hey it's my girl Teresa hey how you doing boo I gotta see you soon Teresa all right Chicago checking in, Milwaukee checking in. Come on in the room, y'all. All right. So we just hitting that water line up. Making sure everything is nice and deep. So I'm going over and over and over, just making sure everything is nice and deep. For that smoke, y'all, we want to always start with a nice deep base because we're going to smudge it out and we're going to blend it out. But we got to make sure that's our, uh, we got our base nice and deep. Okay. So, so we got going on so far. Just using the pencil, y'all, okay? So that's our basis. Our basis started out with a smudgeable pencil. We got LA in the building. Chloe, come on through, Chloe. What? LA. Dalton checking in. Hey, Tasia. <laughs> All right. So, now, here's a little special part. Usually, we can use concealers and that will help our color stay and our color stick but today we're gonna go ahead and use some white primer so what i usually use when I'm, I'm doing color and i'm gonna do a color smoke today so we're gonna go ahead and use a little bit of this white base just just a little bit so I can have some brightness because when I start going in with my color we want to make sure that we really see that color we want that color to really be popping okay so I'm gonna go in with this white base right above my black okay I'm gonna try my best not to go into the black but it might happen and if it does no big deal we can always clean up okay so um what this is gonna do is provide a beautiful base for color so we can make sure that we really see our color when we put it on, okay? So, just going right above. I'm not going into my um, high, my um, highlight area, okay? Hey, Sharma. Okay. All right. Yes. Happy Good Friday to everybody. Are y'all off or are y'all at work? What y'all doing today? I'm at work. This is my job, y'all. All right. So y'all see, I'm going in with that white base, but I don't want it to be too thick. I just need it nice and sheer so that I can make sure my color starts popping when I put it on. And I'm not going all the way up into my highlighted area. If you do it. Okay, sorry. So I thought when I put my phone on Do Not Disturb, that meant like it wouldn't ring i don't know whatever y'all help me because i don't know okay so there's that base just something nice and simple just throwing it up there okay oh you working cheryl oh my goodness it is good friday tell them you need to get off okay make them tease girl okay same thing i know Tasia, you in bed i hope your knees are doing better Okay. 
So here we go. On the other side. Same deal. Okay? Hey, Shay. CBL. Hey, boo. You on lunch break? Okay. Y'all gonna see exactly what it does for you. Sing Mary. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Y'all wanna hear something? Here's a little confession. When Mary J first came out, I was like, I like the clown. <laughs> when she first came out, I just was like, mm, mm, she's all right. And all the boys in college just love Mary J. Blige. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. But now I just really love Mary. <laughs> And I kind of understand what all the hubbub was. Hey, Allison, you in the room? Allison, hey. I love Mary. Okay, welcome. Come on in the room, y'all. If you didn't already, go ahead and hit that share button. Let everybody know we are on Fridays. Not Thursdays, we on Fridays. All right, so I'm taking a fresh blender brush and I'm just blending. Oh my, I might not be able to finish this tutorial. If my playlist gets you, honey, what? Head side, kill them with you now, hey. Okay, so blend, blend, blend. All right, I got to blend and not jam, honey. Kill them with you now. Y'all know about this, okay. Same thing on the other side. We're just blending, patting, because we really don't want too much to happen. We just want a nice little smooth out, okay? You better dance, Sherman, yes. Hey, Dominique. Kill him with you now. Kill them with you now. Okay. So we blended our. Uh oh. Messed up a little bit. A little black came in there. Nothing that we can't fix. There. We just fix that up a little bit. Okay. So now we got our white above and it's right and ready for our color. All right. Fresh out the nulling. Okay, so we're gonna go in with a nice, pretty orange. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go in with this orange right here. Alright. And what I'm gonna do is just start to give a lot of color. It's gonna fall on my black, but that's okay. Cause I can always fix that up. All right? No big deal. Hey, hey. So we're just making sure we get our color applied. All right, and this is our nice lighter shade of orange. I told y'all we got some dance hall. We're gonna be going from smooth to dance hall, back to smooth to dance hall today, y'all. All right, so y'all see, we just using a blender brush and color orange, whatever color you want to use, do it. Today, I'm using orange. All right. Hey. And we just making sure we're getting a nice amount of color. See how it's blown out looking? That's what we want. That nice blown out look. Who am I just the girl, them sugar? All right. I told you. Uh-oh, we getting smooth. We going from dance hall to smooth. Dance hall to smooth. All right. See, we blowing it out. Whatever you see you need color, y'all know we got to blend. 
Blending is so important in this in this game of life. Okay. Let's see. All right. Sorry about that. All right. So now we have blown out our color. Now we're gonna go and start. What product are you using? So I'm using a palette. Um, it's just a multicolor palette. Um, I'll leave in the comments exactly what palette is. The reason I don't tell you all like exactly what I'm using on live is because I'm not getting paid by these brands. So I'm not just giving out free ad advertisements for people. But I will let you know in the comments. I always let you know exactly what brand it is um, in the comments that I use. Okay, so I'll definitely do that. All right, now I'm going to go in with this really deep orange it's like a um, orangey red okay and I'm gonna start blending my pencil um, where I stopped with the pencil and then when I where I started with the orange I'm gonna start blending that okay for a deeper effect all right <laughs> Camrell that's your name Camrell you like Maxwell girl okay so we're gonna go in just to get a nice blend, all right? So you all can see. Gonna give a little deepness right at the part where the blending is to begin, okay? And we just wanna make it nice, see how it's coming out? And then we still gotta add our black on our lid too, okay? Don't forget to hit that share button. If you haven't, go ahead and do so, okay? So all your friends can know and everybody can know that we're on Friday instead of Thursday. We're usually on Thursday, every Thursday at 2.30. But um, today is different. So we're doing it Friday, okay? And we're giving y'all this color smoke. There's many different ways to do a smoke. I'm sure you all have seen the nice conventional ways to do smoke. So I'm just trying to show you all something different, okay? So, we're keeping it down here. As you can see, it's starting to smoke out really nicely. Okay, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for depth. We're looking for some good definition in that smoke, all right? So, we're starting off. We are starting off right where that pencil ends. And remember, the pencil is smudgy. So, it's going to also help to provide a, a wonderful smoke, okay? All right. So here we go. Just doing the same thing on this side. Keeping it in the outer corners. We're going to start bringing it over, but for right now, we're concentrating it in the outer corners. Y'all can see it's coming together very nicely. And you got to work that blender brush. You need a nice, stiff blending brush. Um, nothing that's going to be like a nice... You know sheer we don't want to do that yet we need our nice stiff blending brush for what we're doing now because we're blending out that pencil um, with it hey hey okay <laughs> right. so now you see me kind of going Blending over into the inner corner slightly, okay. Same thing with this side, slightly blending towards that inner corner, all right. And then we're going back in with a little bit of our orange, the first orange that we did. Yes, you gotta try this look, and this look is so easy to do, and you can do it with a lot of different colors too, okay. And now I'm just going in with that first color, just to kind of clean up a little bit, just to give it a little, a little more color, okay? Like I said, you all have seen the traditional smoke. I'm just showing y'all something different, some different techniques that we can use. And we're taking it all the way in the inner corner but we're not going that low we're going to keep it keep it up and high we're not going all the way up in there because we're going to start doing our highlight 
up right under the brow bone. We're gonna do our highlight, okay? Hey, here's the very important part. You want to take that darker color orange and a small little pencil brush, and then you want to start to go right under the eye, okay? Because when we do a color smoke, we want our color to go all the way around our smoke, okay? Rita! Hey! You loving this look and you jamming, girl? Well, that's what you're here for. You're here to learn how to do makeup, but you also here to jam. Happy Good Friday, everybody! All right, so we're taking our pencil brush with the little deep orange color, this one here. It's like a reddish orange, okay? And then we're gonna go right under this black. Okay, and we're just adding that color. Right under the black, okay? See it? See it? Hey! Murder. Man, this song's so old, Joe. I ain't know how old this song really was. I mean, I knew it was old back in the 90s, but this song came out in like 92. Okay. So, same thing on this side, okay? Going right below. Kind of tapping it on with this pencil brush. We taking this smoke color out. All right, same thing over here. Take that color out. Let's do something different, you know? Don't do the same old, same old with your makeup. Try something different. Colorful, easy, and it's still gonna end up very smoky. I'm gonna go right under where you did your black pencil, okay? And then we're gonna take the fluffy brush and then go in with that lighter orange. Hey, yes, Latoya, you know, this is Cultural Friday. <laughs> so we got our Jamaican bump and then we got, you know, we smooth, then we hype up with it. Then we smooth, then we hype up with it, all right? I gotta keep y'all up and down, up and down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Is that, is that, is that Jilly? Is it, is it Jilly from Philly? I think it is. Okay, so here's that light orange. And we're gonna go right under to just add a little extra color. All right, like I said, Color smoke, we color all the way around, all right? Okay, right under. Yes. See, you start to get that beautiful color, honey. Yes. Do it. See? Looking good. We're looking good. And we still haven't even added our black shadow yet. It's just the black pencil and then our color, okay? So we do want to get deep, get real nice and deep with it, and start adding our black shadow on. Now, our black shadow is going to go right on top of the black pencil. It's going to provide something um, that it can stick to, that it can adhere to, okay? Instead of putting it on bare skin, we don't want to do that. Lauren said, what about lipstick? Hey, Nina, I'm going to put some lipstick on Lauren. Tell her the lipstick is going to blow her man, okay? Yes, Jill Scott, you got to love her. Yeah, that lipstick part. Got something different for y'all today. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with our black. We're gonna put on our application brush. I got some on there already. We're gonna go in with this last one here, which is just like straight up black black, okay? No shimmer to it, a matte black. In fact, it's called blackout, okay? And I'm not gonna put a powder under here because I'm gonna be very precise and it's not gonna fall. We are coming against fallout right now, okay? 
So, and to also uh, prevent a lot of fallout, just tap your brush when you put your powder on there, get it on there real good, and tap, 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 tap excess off, okay? Now, we're just gonna start to apply. And like I said, it's gonna stick very nicely because we have that nice pencil on there, all right? Sing, Jill. Yes, honey, Jill gives it to the kids. Jill gives it. All right. Hit that share button. Let everybody know it is Friday instead of Thursday. Yesterday, I was trying my best to get to y'all. That place where I was staying was giving me so much fever. No reception. It was not all good, y'all. It was not all good. Y'all know we like to convene on Thursdays. So I tried. It didn't work out. Uh-oh, fallout is trying to happen. Okay. We'll fix that up at the end. No big deal. Hey. All right. So what we're doing is just tapping on our black shadow on top of our black pencil to give it some depth because it is a smoky eye y'all and what is a smoky eye without black yes thank you for sharing Rita appreciate it hit that share button if you haven't already you gotta let everybody know Friday not Thursday today okay and uh, next week I'll be on Wednesday and Thursday because Wednesday I'll be at Paul Mitchell school doing a live demo there so I'll go live from Paul Mitchell and then um, Thursday we'll be back on our regularly scheduled program I have a model Thursday so we'll mess around with a model and um, see what we come up with okay so here we go I think we're about deep nice and deep that's all we really looking to do is get nice and deep hey Let's go back in with our black pencil, okay? And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we hit the bottom water line. So now we're gonna hit the top water line. Hey, Vicky. Whoa. Okay, top water line. So all you wanna do is look really crazy <laughs> up and hit that top water line up and just kind of blink a little bit. Cause you might want to start tearing up but if you blink then either either stop the tears or let them run down so one or the other will happen okay hey you love the makeup oh well thank you so much alicia all right and so we're doing the same thing at the top and if you mess up and kind of hit that lid it's fine because it's black so you know but this will just help to give the um, look a uh, deeper feel, okay? Nowhere. Yes, demonstrating. So you see? Deep, nice and deep, okay? Bugging out. And so we're gonna go ahead and start putting our highlight at the top, all right? So with our highlight, today we're gonna do two different things. First, we're going to use um kind of a light gold and it's gonna be this one here okay hey and the loud bright colors that i wear all right so we're going right above that color where we left room for our highlight why lord do brothers have to drill me because if i stop to hit this man they're gone you see okay See that highlight is it's starting to bling now. That's what we want. We want that smoky to be nice and deep, and then we want our highlight highlight to come in and pop like it's doing. I said please, cause I don't like killing Africans, but he wouldn't stop, and I ain't Ice Cube. 
<laughs> okay, so y'all see that bling on that highlight? Yes, y'all like that? Woo, yes, okay, not to be outdone. So, what I'm going to do is take the same brush. This is also a blending brush, but this is a, um, a more fluffy blending brush. Remember I was saying earlier, when you blend in the crease and stuff like that, you want a, a deep blending brush. But today, well now, for the highlight, we're going to use um, a more sheer blending brush. Okay, it's not so heavy, it's more sheer. And I've just used it to apply uh, my first coat of highlight, okay? A nice light gold, okay? So now I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna spray it, all right? Get it nice and misty. And then what I'm gonna do is go in with a deeper gold and then I'm gonna um, put that right on top. So I'm taking my little wet brush and I'm going right on in with a deeper gold and I'm patting it right over what I just applied, okay? Just to give it a more golden effect. Because I really like my highlights to stand out, alright? Alright, if y'all liking what y'all seeing, hit that share button. Let your friends know that today it is a Friday. A Friday tutorial instead of a Thursday tutorial. But we'll be back on and popping next Thursday with the model and we'll also be on next Wednesday um, streaming live from Paul Mitchell because I know they got good Wi-Fi so <laughs> we'll be able to stream live from there okay so y'all see that highlight oh come on highlight come on through highlight I sprayed um, a moisturizing mist okay so it's just a nice moisturizing mist all right so what the moisturizing mist does, it just wet my brush a little bit, bit and it gives the um, highlight um, a more prominent effect, a more popping effect, okay? So y'all see, we got these colors going on. We got our oranges going on. We got our highlight blinging. I'm gonna go in um, with a little more orange just because I love a color smoke. Yes. I don't know about D'Angelo and Lauren Hill. What they do for y'all. Right. Same thing on that side, all right? Okay. So that's just about our smoky look, but of course we have to add on lashes and a lip. Y'all didn't think I forgot about them lashes, did you? So what we're gonna do is Add some nice, pretty lashes. Does it look good when I look down? Cause you know that's the truth. That's the way you can truly tell if you got a good blend going on. Everything can look really cute when you're looking at the camera, when you're looking at somebody like this. But then when you look down, that's when you can really see. Did I achieve the look I was trying to achieve? Is my blend right? So, if you if you look at it and you see it's not all that you desired it to be, then you just go back in. Hey, Ariel, did I say your name right? I hope so. All right, so I'm gonna go back in just Oh, I like that fade though. That fade is kind of nice, but put a little more reddish orange into that fade. Just because. Just for that extra pop. Alright. Alright. Just for that extra pop. Alright. Y'all know I can never leave it alone. I gotta have it perfect and popping. Yeah, I like that. Okay. It's good. Okay. Now you won't find me. I know so. I have no time. I do. So Lauren, I don't know. <laughs> I love you, girl, but I have to get that manicure, honey. That matters. Okay. All right. 
So we're gonna take our lash. Honey, she said it don't matter. She don't have a time for a manicure. That matters. Okay. Honey, my manicure matters. Like black lives matters, okay? Alright, so I'm just gonna take the end of a brush. I have the glue on the end of my brush. And I'm applying it right to my lash line. Hey, guess what? If you buy some good lashes, it's okay to use your lashes like two or three times. If you don't put a lot of mascara on them, if you don't mess them up, if you pull them off at the end of the night and put them back in their little packaging, they will last you for the next go round, okay? Girl, Nikki, you can make yours look good. Girl, you can do it. Just practice. All it takes is practice, all right? So I'm gonna go in and apply my lash. So check this out. Watch closely as I apply the lash because um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get kind of close to the camera. But what I'm gonna do is apply my lash going slightly upwards so that it will give the effect um, of a slanted look. Hey Tisha, big Tisha in the house. All right. So as you see, not that far up, okay. And this one goes down. And this one pulls out, all right. See, it gives it, you gotta go that way with it. Got it? All right. Gives you a nice slanted effect. You go upward with it, okay? Nothing but you. Okay. See how quick that smoky? That smoky act is really quick and it's really cute. And it's fun. It don't take a lot to get a cute smoke, okay? Alright, so same thing with this lash. We're gonna go ahead and put our glue on it. Y'all don't take take care of your lashes. You know, lashes cost three, four, five dollars, you know. Some some um you know, unless you get you know your individual lashes, that's fine too, but when you use your strip lashes, put them back on your little on the little rack that they came in and then you can use them over again. No big deal, okay? Alright, so we're going in and then we're working it upward to give it a, a slanted effect and then we're popping this part on the inner part uh oh y'all know what he is what's a bomb bomb okay There we go. Oh, it's a bum 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 Yes, smoke. Come on, smoke. Yes, Nikki, this is a playlist. I made this playlist. What? What? You like my playlist? What? <laughs> yeah, girl. This is my ooey 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 playlist. Oh, what's a bomb bomb? All right, so our lash has set. All right. Where's my mascara? But we're still going to put some mascara on it to help um, the lashes kind of. Um, adhere together so my lash and then the false lash can coincide and become one and then my look can be complete so let me grab my mascara okay so 
I'm just trying my best to get it on my lash. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay. So just putting it directly onto my lash. So that it helps stick to the other lash. And you can hit the inner corners a bit. Oh. Don't stick yourself in the eye like I'm doing. Oh. Okay. And then you can also hit that bottom lash too. So like I said, next week, y'all tune in. Try to tune in Wednesday if you can. Don't know exactly what time we're going live, but follow me. Because if you follow me, it'll always show you when I go live. It'll just pop up in your notifications um, that I'm going live. Because like I said, Wednesday, I don't know what time I'm going live. But um, Thursday, we back on schedule. 2.30 Thursdays, we doing it, all right? So... We get the color on by swiping back and forth, and then we just pull down, all right, to get it nice and coated evenly to pull them out. How can you have a ooey 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 playlist without the queen of ooey 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 herself, Badu? Hey, Sandra, how are you this good Friday? Mmm, teach. You like it? Yes, highlights got to bling everywhere. We got to get this. Yes. Let's do this lip. Okay. Are y'all ready for this lip? Because this lip is going to be very serious today. All right. Very serious lip. All right. Miss Maxine, you made it. All right. Fridays, Fridays. Here we go. We're not used to Fridays, but hey, we're on Friday, so no biggie. We'll return to our regularly scheduled program next week, all right? Okay. You like these lashes? Yeah, these lashes, they... You know, lashes just give you a little extra oomph. You can put some mascara on your regular lashes, but when you put lashes on for, like, going out or you got to do it for pictures, you know, if you're taking professional photos or if you're going to be on anybody's TV or anybody's video or anything like that, um... Then you want to make sure that, you know, you put your lashes on. All right, Sandra, that's what's up. I'm glad you were able to tune in. All right, if you haven't, hit that share button. We're getting ready to do a blue glitter lip. Yes, blue glitter lip, okay? So hit that share button. Let everybody see this blue glitter lip. We're going to start off with a purple pencil, all right? We're going to line her up with the purple pencil, fill her in, then go in with the lipstick, and then go in with the glitter, all right? Hit that share. All right, here we go. All right. Y'all know I can't talk when I'm doing lips. Lips, <laughs> doing lips shuts me up. Okay. On my, on my previous lip tutorial, we talked about your lips 
Some people have heels and some people have peaks, okay? Or you can give yourself whatever kind of lip you want. Alright. So basically what I'm doing with this pencil is jamming, cause what? <laughs> okay, no, basically what I'm doing with pencil is providing a nice, uh, a nice base, alright, like an outline, okay? So, we went in with the pencil, now I'm going in with this crazy color. Like a um glittery blue, you can see it right there. Pretty, so just taking it. So, when you do your lips, go don't rub, don't do all that. You just put the pencil on, you're putting your color on, don't do all that crazy. No, no good. All we need to do. Okay? Ten more beats to me, This is cool. I like this color. Okay. So now we have a nice Bait. So this is cute. No problem. We can finish our look right here. Bam. We can be like touch up my contour. Funny because I'm going to have some contour. If I don't have nothing else, I'm going to provide a contour. Okay. I'm going to go all the way around. Hit up here, hit down here. Okay. See what me mean? But we gotta be a little extra, y'all, because it wouldn't be right if we wasn't a little extra. So what we are going to do is start applying some blue glitter to our lips. We're gonna do a blue glitter lip to finish this look off. Match these beautiful earrings, okay? So we got our little thing of glitter. And I'm going to just tap and get some glitter on my brush. Okay. Mm -hmm. Close this up. So I want to get glitter all in my makeup. Y'all like this color smoke? Yes, color smoke. Okay. Very artsy tip. Hey, Nick, tell Lauren, Shanina, tell Lauren, we did a lip. Yes, so this is just some glitter. Non toxic, of course. 
Please we don't want to hurt ourselves. And we're just lightly pressing it onto the lip. Because you got to be a little different. Just can't do the same thing everybody else is doing. So make sure you press it. Don't press it too hard, but press it just enough so that it'll stick. Yeah, this, this blue glitter is bomb. Okay. So, this is our completed look for the day. We have our beautiful color smoke. Pop and highlight. Lashes. And blue glitter. Lips. And what a good Friday it is. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you all. Um, especially for dealing with me on a Friday instead of our usual Thursday at 2.30. So, next week, like I said, back to our regularly scheduled program. We will be back to 2.30 on Thursdays. So, let all your friends know to come on into the room and get situated, okay? <laughs> I'm jamming, y'all. So, I appreciate you all. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing. Thank you for tuning in. Um, continue to do so. There is a giveaway coming up soon. All right. And um, next week, I'll also be going live from Paul Mitchell. So um, press the, um, always press the share button. Like, I always do that. But also, go on my page and press the follow button, too, so that you'll know exactly when I come on. Because some I'm going to do Thursdays at 2.30, but then some days I'm going to do some other stuff, too. So, um, always remember to um, press your follow button so you can know what I'm doing and what's going on, okay? Thank you, Live, Love, Laugh. Thank you, Tish. Thank you, everybody. I so appreciate you all for tuning in. I love you all. Happy Resurrection Sunday. I know the world says Easter. We know it as Easter. We grew up with Easter. But let's kind of think of some things differently now. Let's say Resurrection Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ died for you. He rose for you. And let's not forget that. And let's celebrate that on a Sunday, okay? So happy Good Friday as well. I love you all. God bless you all. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful Resurrection Weekend, okay? Uh, uh, come on. I'm looking hot today, just jumped out at M.I.A. <laughs> and when I'm cute, I flex, they so point at L.A.X. Oh, like we coast to coast to play, right. cameras flash at J.F.K. <laughs> and back at home, I'm fly, uh -huh. just touch down at C.H.I. Pretty in the city, pretty, pretty in the city, in the, pretty in the city, city, like pretty in the city. You pretty, come on girl. Uh.